What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Legs of the Duelist Link Evolution. We are on the Dark Spirit Revealed, which I do believe is the final part of Battle City. We've got Bakura, we've got Odiyam, we've got Ishizu, we've got Kaiba, we've got Marek, and then we move on to Waking the Dragons, but that's too far. So, let's start things off. Yami versus Bakura. Let's get Destiny boarded, shall we? Uh, here we go. It was now time for the Battle City Tournament Finals. Had him mocha taught now. Hey, look, Joey, Yugi, and Mai. Check it out. We got all six locator cards. Kaiba, Joey, Yugi, and Mai were the first four duelists to reach the finals. The fifth finalist soon arrived. It was Marik, using the fake name Namu. He befriended Taya and Joey during the tournament. His plan was falling into place. Yugi, meet our friend Nabu. I've heard great things about you, Yugi. It's an honor to meet you. Any friend of Joey and Taya's is a buddy of mine, as weird to say. I'm so happy to be surrounded by such welcoming crowds. I just hope everyone I meet tonight is as friendly as you people. I mean you people. Hey, that's Bakura. What's he doing here? What are you doing wearing a dull disc? Oh, how else would I win six locator cars and enter the finals? Rewind a sec. When did you join the tournament? Join? How did you make it all the way to the finals? The seventh finalist arrived just in time for Bakura to change the topic. Oh, hey, look, it's the seventh finalist. I have to say, oh, for some reason, every time Bakura starts talking, it gets me into character. This guy looks familiar. That's a muggy, don't forget. State your name. I'm Marek. Marek's henchman Odeon assumed Marek's name to hide Marek's true identity. It was all part of Marek's plan. I'll kick your brainwashing keister. You're no match for me, fool. The only reason I'm not tossing you out by the cape right now is, <laughs> is so I can save my energy to make, uh, to take you down in the finals. Got that, pal? I think I scared him, Yug. Sometimes when they put the, like, the voice mannerisms on it, it's so weird. Now that the seven of eight finalists arrived, Kyber announced that even though their locator cards led them to the location, it wasn't the site of the Battle City Finals. At that moment, Kyber's blimp arrived. Once they were aboard, it was time for the first duel between Yugi and Bakura. Yugi knew there was something not right with Bakura. I know that's not Bakura, it's the evil spirit of the Millennium Ring, and I bet he's still after the seven Millennium items. This duel, this duel's going to be tougher than everyone thinks. I must win this. The fate of the world depends on it. Are you prepared to lose it all? Why all the fuss? What's around Bakura's neck? Such a good actor. Nabu, it's kind of hard to explain, but that's not really Bakura. You see, Yugi and Bakura, oh, don't tell us the plot. Uh, both have these real old objects and have magic powers. Yugi's item is good, but Bakura's item is bad. Because an evil spirit lives inside it. So you're telling me that an evil spirit up there dueling Yugi? That's hard to believe. The team had no idea that Nami was actually Marik, that the evil spirit possessing Bakura was working for him. Now that the introductions are over and done with, why don't we begin this duel? Sick. Let's go. Oh, I'm going first. Wait, that's the wrong voice. Oh, I'm going first. I lay down a face down. Uh, I can't use multiply only on Karibo. I cannot enter. Your move, Bakura. Speaking of Bakura, his new cards are coming out on the 26th of this month. I saw some of them. They look kind of cool. Uh, but it also has new evil hero support. I saw there's like a Captain Gold that actually add dark fusion to your hand. Sick. New gimmick puppets and Earthbender Immortals. What? Madness. That's kind of cool. I summon the Feral Imp in attack. Your Sangan stands no chance against my playful little fiend that lurks in the dark waiting to attack an unwary enemy. Humbug. I'll end my turn. What did he add? This is this game is missing what Duel Links has, where it has like a log of all the moves that have just happened. Um, they should update it, I think. They could add... I wish if they updated Legacy of the Doors, they make it just a little bit faster. Everything's a little bit slow. Uh, just to do moves and stuff, so maybe you could put it into like a turbo mode kind of thing um, as well. Maybe have a little log on the side, so every time someone does an action, you can just quickly see what, what's what going on what. I don't know, something like that. Uh, when this card is normal summoned or flip summoned, you can add one. Gazelle, King of the Mythical Beast, you want to summon a 1400 attack point monster. No. Oh, he's got Destiny board out already! What is this card, Bakura? You'll see, Yugi. F-I-N? No. It must be spelling... Finland. No. Go, Light Force Sword. Hopefully, I get one of the pieces of uh, 
Destiny board. Fool! But he can't win, though. He's, he's filled up his uh, spell and traps. We should be okay. Meh, meh, meh. My 2000 defense giant soldier of stone is impregnable. Impenetrable, not impregnable. <laughs> um, I can equip to a dark magician. Berthma cannot help me here. So I guess we're going to have to end our turn. F F I N A. That must be spelling death. <laughs> this with the Japanese, of course. Huh? Oh no! I've lost. In like two turns when that goes away. I always used to think if Destiny Board couldn't put the card down, uh, you would lose. But it seems that not that's not the case. What an awful hand! I can't do anything with this. <laughs> oh, you know what I should have done? I wish someone didn't attack as well. Can I have a gazelle please? One single move of that was a good move. God, Berthamut sucks. Why would you ever want to play Berthamut? Battle. Oh, I can't battle! What have I done? I killed myself. Should have said it. Uh, even if I had set it face down. I just wanted to get a second monster so I could summon a Dark Magician, and that turned out not the case. Best hand ever? No! Not good. Sangyan. I'm about to take an absolute. Blast him from the core now. Visor Dez. If this card is normal summon, target one monster opponent controls during your third. Oh, you can't equip it. This is going to be a big fat GG. Wait a minute. Why didn't he attack um, with Headless Knight? Oh, no. Neither, neither side can attack, can they? No monster can attack. Ah, that makes sense. Misty Pox, you can't destroy back row, can you? Damn. You need an MST. I need it super bad. Two cards. He's missed his timing for his destiny board. We have one more chance. One last chance. Wow, how many turns is light for? Sword four? God damn. It seems, but... Wait, that's wrong. Wrong voice, wrong character. It seems, little Yugi, I will be winning this duel. Mm. Choose the battle background. Oh, dear. Ah! I summon the Dark Magician, because that's literally all I can do. Summon attack. Come, my Dark Magician. You will die with me. From Destiny Board. And next I play Magic Formula. Make my monster grow. Any chance you can destroy back row when this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, get a thousand life points. That's not gonna help me. He's built a wall. He's like Donald Trump. Ah. I end my turn. Destiny Board activates. Now I play final. You lose. My soul. Yeah, that sucked. <laughs> now this is a much better start. I play Graceful Charity. I draw three cards and throw two away. I'm going to get rid of the Light Force Sword and my Magical Hats. They'll never see this coming. Next, I set Big Shield Gardener. I mean, set a monster face down and end my turn. Your move, Bakora. Are you sponsored by Konami? Did they give you the Starburst Crystal Ball? No, I'm not sponsored by Konami. Uh, they gave me that Crystal Ball because I went down to the uh, the first community day that they did at uh, their Konami office in London. So it's like a little gift. I was very appreciative. It's su super cool. It's over there. It's my like nightlight. I don't have a nightlight. I mean, my bedside lamp light. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, 1450. I summon Gamma, the Magnet Warrior. Go. Oh, I can't choose it. Defense, can I? Yes, I can. Scare me to death. Go, Gamma. Attack his headless knights. What crystal ball? Uh, I'll quickly show you. Behold! It is Stardust Dragon. 
inside of a Duel Link's little orb. There he is. I know if you can see him very well. And there we've got my laser beam. My turn, I'm sorry. Oh, no, wait. Not a mouse. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, Pacor. I did it in my turn. That was a nightlight. Not confirmed. Oh, Bakara? Bakara on the defensive. One face down. Could that be? Destiny board. Ooh, seven tools of the bandit. That'll help. Coming out. Gazelle, the king of mythical beasts. Battle. Attack. Sangan. Dealt with. Buys the dares. That could be trouble, but we're okay. Attack directly. 100 damage. And turn. Your turn, Bakura. That looks awesome. Oh, thank you, man. My small lamp I leave on at night. Wait! Did I skip? Oh, no, he activated my end phase. I was like, well, let's see if it does the bandit. F I D E. Nightmare Steel Cage. Can't attack for two turns. Uh oh. Uh oh, spaghetti yours. They're not good. Happy birthday afterwards, Sam. Thank you, Doc G. Exile of the Wickeds. Destroy all theme monsters on the field. Help me. Oh. I need MST, Heavy Storm, anything. Oh my god, he's got three already. Oh, I've got another turn of that as well. I'm so screwed. I refuse to be killed by your Destiny Board, Bakora. I bought every single one of the Destiny Board pieces as the first ever card I ever bought, like individually. I uh, bought them off eBay. It was like something ridiculously priced as well. I refuse to lose to it now. End phase. F I N A. I need to end this in my next turn or destroy one of the pieces, else I'm screwed. I always find this weird that the computer has to think. I don't know. Is that because of the Nintendo Switch? Do you reckon that like the, the processing power isn't as good? That's why it has to sort of <sighs> destroy all fiend monsters on the field. Do I have any others that are not fiend? I do have one. Draw face up dark magician girls plus some one dark magician. That's tempting. Yes. Tributes. Feral imp and this. I can do hefty damage, but I can't win. This is so annoying. No! Oh! Play Exile of the Wicked. Could you imagine playing against a Fiend deck and someone just drops out on you? Headless Knight. I think the AI is just slow. Attack. 2,000 fence! Oh god, I knew he attacked it again. Oh, I don't know why I'm bothering. I've lost anyway. Go Buster Blader. Wow, this deck's OP. Duh! Right! Let's try again. Round three. First turn DMG. I'll take that. Too bad there isn't an animation. Yeah, they are missing out a bit there. I play Soul Exchange. I tribute your Sangan to summon my... My summon skull. Do you think he's got a first turn thingy? Fires the dares. Well, at least we know it's fires the dares. End phase. <laughs> we'll attack it with Celtic Guardian next turn. Card kept destroyed by battle while target monster on the field. That's not good. Um, we're going to have to get rid of this by tributing this. I'm about to talk about... Hey, DMG. Nice. Battle. Attack with Dark Magician Girl. 1500 damage. Nice. Wait, was that a fiend? That was a fiend. And my summon skull was a fiend as well. Damn. If we didn't have a summon skull, we could have exiled all the wicked and saved our monster. And now he has Destiny Board. Okay. Thinking about you. I 
hate the artwork for Exile of the Wicked. It's awful. Set that face down. Summon Celtic Guardian. Oh, we got um, Joey's blue, uh, Red Eyes still. Sick. Attack 14. Of course, it's got 2,000 defense. And I can't do anything about that. Classic. No. Light Force Sword on whatever the hell you've got in your hand. The four, turn four turns. The four turns. Two face downs. Any damage in the grave? Wait, is that Fiend? Is it Fiend? Exile of the Wicked's go. I will be very upset if that face down is another one of those 2,000 defense point monsters. Because, you know. Attack 14. Dark Spirit of the Silent. I know anyone opponent wants to declare an attack and negate the attack and select another face up monster on the field. Okay, that wasn't too bad. What did he maybe do? Just make another monster attack then? Attack 2,000. Exile of the Wicked works so much better in the anime. But then I guess it's combined with Dark Necrophere's ability. Still cool though. F-I-N-A. I need to end it next turn. I can. 3200 damage, but I just need to draw something that's not a terrible monster. Oh no, he's getting Dark Necrophere out. No! This sucks. What a broken deck he has. Next turn or bust? It's bust. Bust for sure. got two win conditions. He has better monsters than me. No! Why would I draw Sage's Stone? No! Uh. We've been Destiny boarded three times. Oh, I cut so deep! No! Lay down a face down. Summon Gazelle, the king of mythical beasts. This card is always treated as a phantom beast card. Had no idea that that was a part of this card. Always treated as a phantom beast. I'm surprised by that. So you should be called something like Gazelle the Phantom Beast. Or Gazelle the King of the Phantom Beasts or something. Kind of cool. That's fine. No attack? I can live with that. You only won this door because you hand destructioned his cards. I would also like to do the same then. Come out, Dutch and go. Ding! Battle. Attack that. Dealt with. Uh, Bakura came with his A game today. He couldn't beat you in the. F in a fist fight though. Yeah, let's just throw our cards to the side and just actually fight him. Maybe we'll stand a chance then. Visor dares. Should have known that was coming. Um, you know what? We can actually tribute it to some Eyes Black Dragon. He hasn't... I hate it because I have a feeling I'm going to win now only because he hasn't got his destiny board. That still might change, but... It's still shenanigans. Tribute Visor Dez. Struggling, struggling with the, uh, the story decks too. I know that game. Battle with 4k. Damage is girl 1. Damage is girl 2. Nice. Yeah, I will be annoyed if I win without him getting Destiny board out. But then if he gets Destiny board and beats me, then still. Shenanigans. You can't my controller. Nah, that's fine. We're halfway through. True. Nightmare Steel Cage. Coming out Alpha, the Magnet Brea. Oh, wait, I can't battle. Never mind. Turn one. The animations of this game look like they're from the PlayStation 1. <laughs> 
They look kind of cobbled together, I'm not gonna lie. They don't look uh, professional, really. Uh, end phase. Use Mirror Force. We don't have Mirror Force. Unless we draw it right now, that'd be quite nice. Not gonna help us. Stop thinking, Bakura. You gonna leave a monster in attack as well? Nope. Soul Exchange on his monster. Nah. Probably should have attacked with the two 2000 ones instead. Attack 14. Of course, that would happen. End phase 2. Can't Soul Exchange. End phase. That's typical, isn't it? So the defender catch you later, man. I can join the stream. <laughs> they look like bootleg toys or play dohs Dark Necrophere, here it comes. Just see what happens when you try to attack Dark Necrophere. Hold the main phase, battle phase. Uh, good enough. Bubbling circle on that. It's getting tributed, I think. Oh, or I can miss the box it. When is its ability trigger? During the end phase, if this card is in the graveyard because it was destroyed by opponent's card effect this turn. No, we don't want to do that. We want to soul exchange. Dark Necrophere. Summon Dark Magician. Yes. Tribute your monster, tribute my monster. Come on out, Dark Magician. Hey, Dark Magician and Dark Magician girl together. I like it. Can't battle, so we'll just end there. Perfect. Greedfall. I've heard a couple things about that Greedfall game. It's supposed to be quite good. Card destruction. Um, you know what? Screw the sand. I hate the sand. Never needs multiply. Ooh, one of his pieces went to the grave. Hopefully he's not playing them. I play Magic Formula. I equip it to my Dark Magician Girl. Why not? I summon the Celtic Guardian. Not only that, I bring out my trusty friend's companion monster, which he actually got from Rex Raptor. But Rex Raptor is a dinosaur duelist, and for some reason he had a dragon in his deck, so... A bit weird regardless. Come out, Red Eyes. Black Dragon. Nice. In a horrible uh, alternate artwork. Do not like that one very much. Oh, didn't want to do that. Oh, well, it's, we've done it now. We've committed. Attack. Attack. Attack 14. Oh my god, I might be able to win. End phase. Dark Sanctuary. I don't think he has Dark Sanctuary in this game. They have been updating a couple of the decks, though. They like, give them some more modern stuff. If the weren't doing so hot. Why did he summon that in attack? Really? Really? I killed a guardian new. No. This is it. With my perfect field. Go, Dark Magician Girl, attack. And Dark Magician, you can finish this. Beat the crap out of Bakura. Nice. So we got his um, Dark Necrophere out, so that was okay. Bakura, are you okay? Oh, where am I? You're with your friends now, Bakura. I'm glad Bakura's okay. The Millennium Ring is a lot like my puzzle. It holds an ancient spirit that depends on someone else so it can exist, like a symbiote. And even though the spirit of the ring is evil and controls Bakura against his will, it seems to still need Bakura in order to survive. But there is one major difference between Bakura and I. What's that? The spirit inside my item is my friend, and you and I are always there to support each other, no matter what comes our way. You were there to help me when my grandfather was in trouble, and now I'm here to help you rescue the world from evil. I promise that together we'll figure out the secrets of your ancient past and how to unlock your hidden powers before Marek 
can take them. He has hidden powers, you mean his like destiny draw and stuff? Because your destiny is mine too, and we're gonna win. That's right. This was a tough duel, but thanks to our teamwork and the heart of the cards, we came out on top. Now we're headed for round two, and we're gonna take it all the way. Yu-Gi-Oh! The Awakening of Evil. I don't know why I keep saying evil like that. We've got a Dark Necrophere and a Sangan. I'll take it. Awakening of Evil! Let's go. Why don't they just take the ring from Bakura? Because I think it comes back to him. Something, something, something that I just accidentally skipped. His name was Shardy, and he explained that he had come to provide Yugi guidance for the challenges that lay ahead. I am the seventh. God, how does Shardy talk? I am the seventh. No, I am the guardian of the seven millennium items. I am here because I sense a disturbance in the force. I mean, in the mystic alignment, once again. All seven items are on board this vessel, as well as the three Egyptian god cards. Which means all of the objects capable of saving and destroying the world are right here. They look awesome, by the way. Really? The Earth's safety rests with you, Yugi. Heed my words. The wrong individuals were to gain control of any of the Millennium Items or one of the Egyptian God cards. The results could be catastrophic. It nearly happened once before when Pegasus created dual monsters. It did? But how? It all began when... Oh, it's going to be so much banter. When Maximilian Pegasus first arrived in Egypt, he was searching for a method of reuniting with his lost love. His quest brought him to me. I presented him with the Millennium Eye, for he was destined to possess it. Soon after, he discovered the origins of the ancient Egyptian shadow games. Pegasus became obsessed with these games, and decided to dedicate his life to recreating them. During one of his early research trips for an ancient pyramid, Pegasus planned to locate the stone depicting the Egyptian god monsters he's read about. So I guided Pegasus and his team of archaeologists to an underground chamber hidden beneath the desert sands. Really hard to talk like this. And after travelling by foot for hours, our journey was over. Pegasus entered the dimly lit chamber. As promised, I brought him to the ancient resting place of the Egyptian god tablets. Pegasus found what he came for, never knowing he was about to unleash a devastating force like no other. Triumphant! Pegasus returned to America to design his cards based upon the images he found on the stones. He was destined to awaken the Egyptian god monsters, but he was not destined to control their powerful magic. Although Maximilian Pegasus completed the prototypes of the three Egyptian god cards, he immediately flew to Egypt to seal them in the tomb alongside the original carvings and spare the world of their absolute power. With the help of Ishizu, Pegasus sealed cards away. Then Marek tried to steal them. Yes! And if he were to get his hands on all three, the results would be devastating. I can assure you, Marek will never hold all three Egyptian god cards. My pharaoh, it is an honour for me to be in your presence once again. I know you will restore order to the world and put an end to this chaos just as you did. 5,000 years ago. My complete faith lies in you. At that moment, the speaker announced all finalists must return to the main concourse, and Shardy vanished. The second duel was between Marek and Joey. Since Odeon was pretending to be Marek, Odeon stood before Joey, ready to duel. Let's do this, Marek. It's time to duel and destroy you. Prepare for defeat. Don't count on it, Marek. I'm not scared of you. Cool. Story deck, let's go. Now, please tell me that I don't have um, legendary... Fisherman and uh, Insect Queen and things like that in this deck. Jinzo I'm happy with. The other two, uh, not so much. Fairy Box is a great, great card. This card cannot declare an attack unless you tribute one monster. Yeah, you, you suck. Let me lay down a Graceful Dice. And please. Odeon plays... Oh, he's got a fake winged dragon of Ra in his deck. We need to watch out for that. He's also got mystical beast circuit. No! It's happening! Isn't Temple of the King's banned? You can activate one trap card to turn it was set. Broken. Broken! Uh-oh. First turn tribute. Mystical beast circuit on his first turn! If you do not control Temple of the King's, destroy this card. Banish any monster to destroy the battle of this card effect. Oh, no. For the main phase. What have I got face down again? Yes. I play Fairy Box. We toss a coin. If I call it right, uh, your monster is destroyed. But I'm also not going to take that risk because I'm also going to have to make Graceful Dice. I need a five or a six. No. Uh, heads. That's good. Woohoo! Wait, if Mystical Beast Circuit is destroyed, doesn't it get the special summon monster from the deck? Is that not how it works? If this card destroys a monster by battle, it gains bombs attack. Oh, no! I wanted to pay... I wanted to pay that life points. Tribute a monster. 
Activate giant true nade. Battle. Attack. I declared the attack. End phase. Look at the almighty battle warrior. <laughs> Temple of the Kings is back. Face down. Face down. Face down. Temple of the King's ability. Swamp Mirror. Luckily I have my trusty time wizard. Which will hopefully give you heads. We got heads once. Why not get it again? Ah, oh, we're too strong. Nice. We're cool. Hayabusa Knights. This card can make a second attack during each battle phase. Beautiful. I summon an attack. Oh, I misplayed. I should attack with the other monster. I did 700 damage. That oh. Like, attack with that. Choose one trap card from your deck and place it on top of your deck. Or if Nacrovalli is on the field. Something, something, something. One of Apophis. Attack with 2,000. Tribute that. I could be doing better. Tiki Curse. Is he, is he going to destroy my monster? In phase. This is not good. It's not good at all. Last time I saw you, it was when you was about 10 to 15 views on the stream. 40 plus, so proud. Thank you, Alan. Thank you very much. <laughs> ha! Damn these trap monsters. I'm expecting a winged dragon of rot any moment now. Lucky damage. Tiki curse number two. 18, 18, 16. There's only one way I can get out of this uh, sticky situation. Traps, traps everywhere. And this is my moment. I draw. Much glam shield. I summon Town Wizard. You see, my Town Wizard might not have a lot of attack, but it does have a very special ability. I flip a coin and declare heads. Woohoo! <laughs> I lay down a face down. Go! Town Wizard. Town Magic Attack. Nice. Time Wizard always reminded me of a character from Diddy Kong Racing. I don't know if you've played Diddy, Diddy Kong Racing. Uh, called. Uh, he's called TT. He's like, sounds for time trial. He's like a little clock man from Thingy. Phantom of Chaos. Nani? What's this guy playing at? God bless you, RNG. Ah, uh, yes. My other powerful monster. The Swordsman of Landstar. <laughs> Jesus. What is this? Swordsman of Landstar attacked directly. Now go, Time Wizard. You go too. Oh man, we could have won in phase. An amateur with a sword, this fairy warrior relies on its mysterious power. Called Sarcophagus turn one. It's getting that Phantom of Chaos next turn. Face down. What are the chances he has less than 500 defense? Slim, right? That Joey Wheeler look though. Yes! Hey, this mighty lizard man can swing his sword so fast that it's more than the speed of sand. It, the, the, the descriptions on these is ridiculous. I'm gonna make a video on these, uh, definitely. Attack 15. No, I could have won! I was bamboozled. I oh, I'm, should have had faith. I should have had faith in my time wizard. Could have done 2k damage. I talks like, I talks like Zim. End phase. Okay, we've got magical arm shield as our backup. Phantom of Chaos can't do us harm, though, I don't think. I think. It can't do damage to us. Or something like that. He's thinking. He's thinking he needs to play it in defense. Ah. Attack with 1500. It has zero defense. I knew that. Why attack with a 1500 monster? I may never know, especially since he's about to get out a Tiki curse. Ah! No. End turn. Yes. 
Your move, Odeon. Your move. Battle, eh? Oh, wait, I forgot to activate my magical arm shield. Oh, no, he needs two monsters on the field, doesn't he? Damn. 1800 seems like a little bit too much for me. However, when I play my sword and, sword? Sword and, sword and shield, your monster's attack dwindles down to a handful. Go, attack Tiki Curse. My monster is destroyed, yes. Oh, wait, it's not destroyed. Attack 400, time wizard. Should have just done this in the first place. Go, alligator sword, attack. Good duel. We overcame Mystical Beast, Sir Ket. All the horrors that he threw at us. Odeon's deck contained a copy of an Egyptian god card, which we didn't actually see. This angered the gods, so lightning struck Joey and Odeon, sending them to the mat. Master Merrick, I'm not worthy enough to control this card, just as I was not worthy enough to be your family. Odeon, I tried my best to serve you. My master, I tried. Odeon dedicated his life to protecting Merrick by containing the evil within Merrick. But with Odeon weakened, his control over the evil was losing its strength. Please forgive me, Joey. I'm sorry. It was an honor for me to duel you. Well, same to you. And thanks to that lightning bolt, I won't forget this duel for a while. Now that it's done, you gotta come clean. If you're not Merrick, then who is? I'm only a servant of the real master. It admits your true identity, Merrick. Yes, it's true. I am indeed the real Merrick, you fools. So Nemo lied to us all along? Namu? He was disguised to get me closer to Yugi. So, Pharaoh, we finally meet face to face. Now at last, I can serve... I can finish this job. My prophetic servant couldn't. You yeah, are... Cut it. Whoops. Oh no, I was afraid of this. We're all in great danger. The great evil hidden within the Master Merrick has a darker side. And I'm unable to contain it anymore. It's too late now. Ah! Merrick, what's going on? I'm finally free. Which means I can do things my way. I was restrained for many years by that fool Lodeon. Who are you? I am the true Marek, and I am not as kind as the one you've come to know. As soon as I finish this job, he couldn't complete and strip you of your powers. Ha 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 ha! Voice acting's hard, man. Voice acting, coming from me. A duel of destiny! Let's go. The next duel was my versus the real Marek. Mai gave everything she had, but Marek was too powerful. With the powers of his Millennium Rod, Marek trapped Mai's mind in the Shadow Realm. Your friend Mai, blah blah blah. Your friend made a costly mistake by dueling against me, and now I'm afraid she's paying the ultimate price. Notice her motionless appearance? That's because her mind is trapped. With each passing second, she forgets more. The shadows are taking everything. Everything she kept inside her mind, and inside her heart. Trapped by dark magic, Mai's friends could do nothing to help her. All right, you geeks, clear the field for the next duel. The next duel was Seto Kaiba versus Ishizu Ishtar, the same Ishizu who Yugi and Tia met at the museum. She was the mysterious eighth finalist. This is quite a surprise. Yes, we meet again, Seto Kaiba. So you've come to win back your obelisk. What I've come for is of greater importance. I've come here to save my brother. Brother? Yes, for the past 5,000 years, an Ishtar has stood guard over the Pharaoh's tomb. Only Marek turned against us, and the evil within him is even stronger now. If you remember, my Millennium Necklace is the power to show me events that are yet to come, and right now it tells me you will lose this duel. Enough with the Millennium Items. I don't believe in that nonsense. I plan with one goal in mind to reclaim my place as the number one duelist in the world. Have you forgotten that it was my idea for you to organise the Battle City Tournament? To lure duelists like Marek? My plan worked. My brother is here, but the hardest task is yet to come. The evil within him must be stopped. Surrounded by superstitious nitwits. Take your hocus pocus nonsense to someone else's tournament. <laughs> My Millennium Necklace predicts that your lack of faith will be your downfall. Well, I don't think it is, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Evil Marek's voice is good Marek's voice pitched down. Hello there, Pharaoh. Uh, hello there, Pharaoh. I can't do it. <laughs> but is that, it is actually pitched down, isn't it? That's like a, an audio trick. Can he not do that unless I get like a soundboard or something? Target one, can you grab that? Should put target into your deck. 1800 defense. Oh my god. Set our face down. Next turn, blue eyes confirmed. Enter. Will you tribute obelisk for blue eyes? Sure, why not? Uh oh. What do they do again? 
Crimson Fairy attack once it gets 500 attack. If it inflicts battle damage, what? 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 Death Feral Imp! No! That's not how I thought this duel was going to go. No! Not now! Ah! Uh, I need no monster in the game. What happens if I take damage again? Game life points deep. He's going to gain 2k. You, is, your cousin had trouble with this tool, and you had no trouble at all. Well, we're about to take 3,500 damage. What did that say? A monster with... Ugh. Ugh. And normal in the grave. Wait! Can I play two soul exchanges? Is that a thing? Soul exchange? That one? Soul exchange? That one? No! Why can't I summon Obelisk? Regardless, this is still sick. I didn't know you could do that. I attribute your two monsters. Ha 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 ha! Shizu Ishtar. Come on out. Blue eyes. White dragon. Yes! Pro skills. Unfortunately, I cannot attack you the turn I play. Soul exchange. <clears throat> I'll get you next time. Oh god, I need some moisture. She plays like a counter fairy deck or something. She? God damn it! Coward! Fight me! I play my Thunder Dragon special ability. Sent to the graveyard to add two of my deck to my hand. The only reason we would want to do this is because. Do we have a Thunder Dragon in our extra deck? No, we don't. We don't have one at all. In phase. Doesn't say what's per turn, so big brain plays. IQ 20. Force Raider. Nice. Coming out, Force Raider. Uh, battle. End phase. Well, I appreciate all these silent dooms, but I actually can't use them. Oh, yeah, you need three monsters for Obelisk the Tormentor. No wonder I couldn't submit it. Completely forgot. It would be funny if they put a Thunder Dragon Colossus in the deck. Yeah, it would. It'd be funny for us. It wouldn't be funny for a Shizu. How? That card's from the future. Calling it new Yu-Gi-Oh! series is about... Time travel. Oh wait, no, they've already done that. Never mind. Ignore me. That already happened. That was Yu Gi Oh! 5 Ds and, and Bonds Beyond Time. No! Okay, if it, out of all the monsters that I could have attacked with, I'm glad it was that. Keldo, that's fine. Uh, Alright. In phase 2. Boss Raider, come on back out. Face. Discard a card to the graveyard. Kaiser Glider. Couldn't give a crap about you, sir. Wait, Kaiser Glider's a dragon? Mm. Oh, the first of the dragons aren't even going to work with this. I wanted a Lord of D. She's in, why are you playing three Swords of Revealing Lights? I wouldn't wish that upon my worst enemy. But I do have three monsters on my side of the field now, and I can't attack. No. Ooh. Oh my. Construction. Play that face now. End phase. During your opponent, they've edited. It's edited, isn't it? During your opponent's turn, take one face up monster your opponent controls whose attack is less than or equal to their life points. Destroy that face up monster, and if you do take damage equal to. Wait, you... Ooh, what's he got in the grave? Remember, she's got that broken trap card that swaps the grave with the deck. Not like this. Kelbeck! Mm. Oh, 
I was waiting for something like this. Dark Lord NA Array? I'm making a video on the Dark Lords. Never. I play Ring of Destruction. NA Array again. it out of here. What was this ability? This kind of test defense months they put piercing damage. Never. Ooh, another Ring of Destruction. Nice. So that goes down. Um. Do I do it now? No, I need to... I'll do it next turn. We need to get rid of that. Ah, I can't do it next turn! That's going to cause me problems. Unless that attacks this card, returns it on his hand. Uh, when I'm summoned, cards and effects cannot be activated. Oh no, I'll just blow it up. Sound. Sorted. Oh my god, my life points! I just realised how low they're going to be after this. 1500. 1500, that's fine. Yes. My two copies of Obelisk the Tormentor, just like in the series when Kyber used his wealth to duplicate the card. Hold on. I'm ready for this moment. I need to switch over to my actual headphones for one second. Foolish Shizu Ishtar giving me a monster of such power. <laughs> I attribute Boss Raider number one. No. Boss Raider number two and my blue eyes white dragon. Coming out, the unstoppable obelisk, the tormentor. But that's not all I play. Silent Doom to special summon my blue eyes back to the field. I'm still not done. Animations, no. I play Silent Doom number two. Come on back, uh, Bush Raider. Beautiful. But that's still not all. I play Exodia's special ability. I tribute my blue eyes and my boss raider. Go. Something Tempest Fist, I think it's uh, effect is called. <laughs> yes. Now go, Hobelisk. Oh, no. Why can't I attack? Oh, because I use his ability. Damn. It's broken. Okay. I'm going to do that every time I summon an Egyptian god from now on. Oscar Worthy and acting. Thank you. My headset got stuck. <laughs> I thought I could attack the turn and use this ability. I thought I could do 4k. What are these hands? Find a dragon go. Let's stop us from joining into another one. Are you supposed to do it the other way around? What do you mean? Oh, you mean attack? No, because I wouldn't be able to attack directly. Keep going. I've only got 700 life points, guys. I could absolutely lose this tool still. You ruin the moment by not reading the effect. It's typical, isn't it? But, uh, technically, Obelisk's is a card from the anime. It didn't actually have an effect underneath it. So. Cool. Only back row. I can level that. Yes. Go, Silent Doom. What a great card in this deck. I'll bring back a blue eyes. Time for the big punch. After this, every time I summon one. Obelisk the Tormentor. Fist of Tebby Gong Strike. If you understood that reference, you're an absolute G. Keep in mind. I end my turn. Gong Yi Tempai. Absolutely nothing to do with Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know why I'm saying that. Needlebug Nests. Why? God hand crusher, is that its ability? Challenge showdown, yes! Uh, no, I don't want to shrink. Alright, alright. I switch my blue eyes into attack. Battle. With blue eyes. Uh... Oh, it can't attack in general. Never mind. Didn't realize. Raymundo had the best character arc. True, very true. I like Raymundo. I'm glad he became the Dragon Warrior at the end. That's it, Shizu. Thin your deck. Pot of Greed. But what does it do? 
The door out when this card gains too much temperature. Delete that from my memory. And it's gone. Right then, guys. Let's uh, go against the Shizu Ishtar. Our first attempt. Um, let's see if we can get our obelisk. Should be fun. Should have sacrificed obelisk. If you set shrink, you would have won. Ah, I'm such a fool. Oh, why didn't I set shrink? I was so confident. I was so cocky and arrogant. I, was, I became Kaiba in that moment. Why would I set shrink? I had the... Oh, and he's got Medora out just to just to upset me as well. Absolute nutcase. Set our face down. Set our face down. Set shrink face down. And my turn. Yeah, that counts as a misplay. I've only got 13 misplays. Wow. Oh, miss. That's a different one. Uh, you can open some of this card without tripping to it. If you do, during the end phase, send it to the graveyard. Alright. That's all. That's fine. Um, Ring of Destruction on that. That's fine. You need out of here. Then, Shrink on your monster. Jimmy, thank you very much for the retub. Uh, the resub. The resub for the tier 3 subscription. The tier 1 subscription for the two months in a row. Thank you very much for the 13 months. Uh, I appreciate my man. Jimmy, how's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. You definitely didn't miss me misplaying. Definitely not. Just the ochre. If you hold B, you can skip the prompts. I, I wanted it then, though. I wanted to make sure I was using it at the right time. Um, Thunder Dragon. One. And get the other one. I don't know why we have Thunder Dragon in this deck. Because I'll never use it. But it's fine. I'm going to summon a Des Feral Imp. Change that to attack. Battle. Attack with 18. Sorry, 16. Attack with 16 again. And end. Turn. Coolio. Medora again. That's her ace card at the moment, I think, Medora. Every time I get close to winning, she snatches it away. Kaiser Glider, eh? Yes. I tribute my monster. Coming out Kaiser Glider. Was we talking about Kaiser Glider? No, we were talking about um, that Seriaru. Kaiser Glider was another card that I feel like a lot of people had in real life back in the day. I wonder if that was part of like a set or something. Uh, which was quite common. I can't fuse Thunder Dragons together. What would I make? Attack with... God, I wish that did piercing damage. I don't know why. A Gido, what do you... Three? What is it? Aikido do again. When this code is thrown into the graveyard as a result of battle, roll a 6 7 die. You can special summon one fairy type monster from your graveyard whose level is equal to the number rolled. The result is a 6. You can special summon a level 6 or higher monster. Whoa. It's in the Kyber structure deck. That's probably why. Makes sense. So I'm sure I hope you play Gwent better than Yu-Gi-Oh. I think so. Uh, we're saving that soul exchange for our obelisk if we need it later. Um, also, we need to worry about that card that if we attack into it, it bounces it back to our hand. Two star monster. Skell Angel. You must be so proud. Are you gonna play Duel Links after this? Um, I'll see. Most likely no. I think I wanna play Borderlands later. And I wanna play Links Awakening. So yeah, no Duel Links tonight. We'll be back Monday. But if it's we got the 26th to look forward to. I play Pot of Greed! This card lets me draw two new cards. Yes. They always have that like electrical pulse, don't they? When they put their hand on it, they're like, Ksh. yes. Oh. Pure awesomeness. Set that card face down. I'm getting no monsters to sacrifice though. Three. Oh, I'm going to have to lay down another face down actually. 
Uh, don't be that bounce card. It is that bounce card. Why would I do this? Hee! Base two. Set silent doom. Uh, set polymerization. I am now officially frightened. Dark Side of Dimensions is coming soon. I know. Can't wait. Surprised they didn't... They might do a DLC for this, actually. I can see that. Dark Side of Dimensions DLC. I believe it. Monster Reborn. Adora again. Oh, no. And the Zolga, when a monster is tribute summoned by tributing this card, the only gains 2,000 life. Eek. Uh, no, sir. I'm going to ring of destruction. No, it's got too much attack. Eek. That's not good. He's only got 900 life points. If I can get one monster on the field, I could have. I can win. Oh my god, that's so close. 300 life points. I feel like I'm. Is it epic? Yes. Yes. The feral imp. What do I do? Summon it and try and attack into his monster for game? Is that 900? No, it's not 900. 16. Not enough. I'm going to have to go for the Kaiser Glider, it seems. Yes. Unfortunately, that's the only way we can do this. I play Soul Exchange. Be gone with you. Medora. Coming out. Kaiser Glider. Alas, we cannot attack this turn. Force Raider would have won us that duel. We could have done a healthy 1,000 damage. Des Feral Imp, the smug little bugger, has only 1,600 attack. 18 would have been fine, actually. No, it wouldn't. Yes, it would. Yes, it would. The Flute of Summoning Dragon, but alas, no dragons. Even though they say Thunder Dragons as well. They're not. Frightened of that face down. I'm not gonna lie. Could be that bounce monster again. My turn. Oh, now I get Vorsch Raider. Of course I do. Classic. I'm not asking for much, but I'm gonna attack 19. Oh god, that's close. And it was a Kelbeck. Very glad in attacking to it. Come on, Kaiser Glider. It's all up to you now. No. Obelisk in that duel. I'm very sorry. But we've won. I'll take it. Victory is mine. Very impressive, Kyber. You managed to overcome the fate of my Millennium Necklace. I won this duel for the same reason I'll win this tournament. My superior skills and intelligence. Perhaps. But you've taught me a valuable lesson about the nature of destiny. And for that, I am grateful. I may have lost the duel, but in the process I have gained something of far greater importance. The realisation that if I am to win this battle for my brother's spirit, I will need your help, Kyber. Thank you, for I know you will help me to save my brother. <sighs> Believe whatever you want to, Ashizu, but I am only in this for myself. Cool. Did we get an obelisk? No, we got swords, our prevailing light, and a dark lord, and a array. Best duel in the Yu-Gi-Oh! series! My personal opinion, clash in the Colosseum. Let's go. More and more fell to the power of Marek. Marek dueled Bakura for the Millennium Ring and won. It was now time for the semi-finals. The first match was Joey versus Marek. Marek's power was so great that the winged dragon of Bra sent Joey to the hospital. It seemed nothing could stop Marek's reign of terror. The second semi-final would determine who would face off against Marek. It was Yuki versus Kaiba, fighting for the first time since their battle in Duelist Kingdom. Yuki. We mustn't let Joey's struggle interfere with our confrontation, our concentration. Remember, in order to overcome Marek, we must get past Kaiba. Well, well, Yugi. So you decided to show up after all. Of course, to miss this duel is to die destiny. I did press A. Spare me the drama. So why didn't the nerd herd show up to cheer you on? <coughs> Funny guy. Are they too busy trying to take Wheeler up from his nap? Joey's in a great deal of danger now. More than you could ever know. Wheeler shouldn't have even been here. I warned him not to play with the big boys, and if you ask me, he got what he deserved. A slap in the face by Ra. And if getting attacked by an Egyptian guard card didn't knock any sense into that kid, then nothing will. 
That's enough, Kaiba. You have no idea how dangerous this dual monsters tournament of yours has become. The outcome of the Battle City Finals could put the whole world at risk. The only one at risk is you for one. Oh, the only one at risk is you. For once I win, you won't be number one. Kaiba is not always about being number one. It's about dueling with bravery, honor, and respect. Most importantly, putting the needs of others ahead of your own. And that's something Joey did every day of his life. Yugi, in ancient times, Roman gladiators both battled to their doom in order to prove who was the strongest. Now it's our turn to see who is deserves to call himself the greatest in the world. I struggle so much with words sometimes, it's hard to get him out. So draw your first card and let the battle begin. With pleasure, Kaiba. Oh my god. Oh, words, man, they're so hard. Clash of the Colosseum is my favourite duel of all time. Yeah, I just love the way it plays out in the series, where it's like, it starts with... Uh, like the normal monsters they always get out and then it goes into like this Egyptian uh, monster battle then they get out like their original aces Dark Magician and Blue Eyes and then I think it finishes with Yugi getting out like Buster Blader or Dark Paladin I think it was I don't know it's pretty really cool um, we've got another King's Knight we can wait for that I summon the King's Knight I lay down a face down and end my turn I'm playing a broken card and I got the fusion wave motion. Blah, 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 blah. The fusion wave. The fusion wave motion. I would like Igami as a character. That would be good. Kaiser Seahorse. You wish to a battle? Go Mirror Force. Deflect his Kaiser Seahorse's strike right back at him. Ooh. I play Summoner's Arts. I get to add a level 5 light monster from my deck. I got Dark Magician. I have faith in my cards that he won't draw anything too broken. King's Knight number 2 coming out. Sadly, I don't have a Queen's Knight. I would love to have special summoned a Jack's Knight. That would have been awesome. Poker Knights are weird. They are a bit, aren't they? Uh, if your opponent controls a monster, pay 1,000 life points to target one level 7 or higher spell cast the monster control this turn. It must attack all monsters your opponent controls once each. That's monsters. Fusion wave. Oh, because it has fusion in its card name. Okay. Did you see the far-fetched evolution? I did. It's called like Surfetched or something. Looks awesome. Um, I play the change of heart. It seems your monster wants to fight... Um. Oh. Oh dear. Well, I mean, fair enough, but I have a backup plan. I play Monster Reborn. I bring back your Kaiser Seahorse and really wish my monster was a light type. And uh, do I do more damage this way? I do do more damage this way. Go, Kaiser Seahorse. Attack. Go, King's Knight. Attack. I go to my main phase two. Next, I tribute your Kaiser Seahorse <clears throat> and my King's Knight. Coming out, my faithful companion, the Dark Magician. God, I wish I could get alternate artworks in this game. End phase. Into dimensional matter transporter brings back his XZ. I wonder if he's playing like XZ and all that, like all the um, not X XYZ and everything. Oh my god, I think he is. Or is he going to attach it? Why Dragon Man's ability? 2200? Not enough. Nice try. Are you going to get Luigi's Mansion in free? Uh, yes. Of course I am. Set card face down. I really wanted to use the Fusion Wave Motion's ability. That would have been awesome. Head face. He's keeping his X. He's got his Y in the grave. Final attack orders. All face-up monsters on the field are changed to attack position and their battle positions cannot be changed. Good show, Kaiba. Good show. Forcing my monster into attack. How did he kill my monster then? Oh, he forced it into attack. Fair enough on that one, actually. But he took the damage. I don't, I don't comprend it. Soul exchange. Tempting. 
But no cigar, I attack. X head cannon. Draw your last pathetic card, Kaiba. I have this game on Steam, but I don't know if it's worth it on Nintendo Switch. Um, If you've already played Legacy of the Duelists and you haven't played any of the DLCs, I wouldn't bother, if I'm honest with you. You can get away with it. Actually, uh, can't make a little bit of come back here. If you've never played uh, Legacy of the Duelists, wow, his card's betraying him. This is beautiful. But he still took the damage. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. That was his last pathetic card, that one was. Oh, I should be using the... I'm doing it. I play Swords of Revealing Light. Show me your two face downs. Final attack order switches them into attack. But that's not all. I play Diffusion Wave Motion. Cost of a thousand life points. My Dark Magician can go absolutely ham on your ass, Kyber. Even though I don't need to. Ah, I wish I could have Dark Paladin. Never mind. You lose, Kaiba. I told you your hatred and your lust for power would never prevail. I did it, but my toughest battle is still ahead when I face Marek in this final duel. Woohoo! And we got Obelisk. Nice. Final face off! I want to take his face off. The time had come for the final face off. Yugi versus Marek, with the fate of the world hanging in the balance. I have been waiting for this moment for my entire life. Soon, your infinite power will be mine. Marek and I will defeat our free for the darkness that controls you. Ha ha ha! Now that I'd like to see. Short banter for a final duel of a chapter, but fair enough. Clap his cheeks. I hope I get out an Egyptian guard. My go. I play Pot of Greed, which lets me draw two new cards. Ah, yes. King's Knights. Uh, especially from one Metal Fiend token, it can attack your opponent takes any battle damage you would have taken from battles among this animal's turn you stand by face, pay for one personal and destroy card. We can wait. I'll lay down a face down. Uh, that's not a spellcaster. End face. Lo-fi music is the best. I summon my revival jam. Make sure Gunner goes to attack. That's fine. Bad dubbing for the memes. Hell yeah. I can't do the, the proper voice actors because they're doing a proper job. But shenanigan ones I can do, I guess. Uh, 1500, 1600, we can summon. Oh man, he's going to be playing like Nightmare Wheel and things like that, isn't he? Every single card that's going to break my heart is probably going to be in this deck. Attack. Cost you a thousand life points if you want to bring that monster back. What a waste. End phase. Infinity and beyond. To infinity. Defense mode. Interesting. Double interesting. I wonder if he has Lava Golem. I reckon... Yeah. I need to get a Magnet Warrior. No, I need to get a Spellcaster for good times. Go! With 1500, I attack your Revival Gem. My guard is paying a thousand life again. I attack your face down. Another Revival Gem? Interesting. He's going to have no life points, though, to uh, boost his monster attack, which I quite like. Uh, the power which they talk about is the power to someone's monster's real. The Pharaoh can do it non-stop, but if the evil person... they have... Ah, okay, that kind of makes sense. And Yugi just doesn't do it because he's a good guy. Drilago, if the only cards you control, opponent controls, are face-up monster with 16 and more attack, this card can attack you directly. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Mask of the Accursed. Could be a problem. Um... Huh. Change of heart. I will take your Drillago, sir. My very own. Next, I will tribute my 2600 defense point monster and your Drillago. 
Come on out. My Dark Magician! Um... Made it a face down, just in case. Um, Monster Reborn. Sure, why not? Let's treat ourselves. Uh, Drilago. Why don't you come to my side of the field? Battle. Attack 16. If you pay these life points, it's gonna, if you pay one more, you're going to lose. Oh, clever. Very clever. You had a metal reflex line face down this entire duel and you never summoned it? No. I, I'm pretty sure you had that from the start of the duel, you know. 90% sure. Uh, sorry, no, no, I don't have to bet that. Revival Jam comes back to the field. That's two tributes. Can he get a third? Monster Reborn. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. He can get a 2700 attack point monster as well. <gasps> Hold on! Music! <laughs> no! The Winged Dragon of Ra! Activate the effect of a card. No. We can wait. No. Full Merrick! I play the Spellbinding Circle. You see, uh, your monster might be unaffected by spells and traps, but the spellbinding circle affects around you, I guess. Because that's a loophole. This monster is too strong for me to get over. I will have to play the waiting game. Queen's Knight. I need some kind of monster of my own. Some kind of Egyptian god. Okay. Yeah. Pause that. We don't need Egyptian god music when he summons it, really. I draw. That's not what I need. Slifer won't help me. I'll have a... Oh, no, no. I'll have a free care attack point once. That will help. Just enough to win as well. Yep. He had another raw in his hand. He's got a monster reborn back. What's he going to do? Mag Gamma, the Magnet Warrior. What are you going to do with that? My queen's knight! Who cares? <laughs> I don't know if uh, Yugi ever laughed, actually. I tribute Dark Magician, Queen, uh, King's Knight, and my Drilago. Oh, it's a Slifer song. Go! Obelisk the Tormentor, yet again. Attack his winged dragon of Ra. Boss. Like an absolute boss. Woohoo! Tell win. Fist of Fate. Master Merrick. Brother, please tell me you're alright. Merrick, it's over. Your evil side has been banished forever. It's finally over, my Pharaoh. Yes, and the darkness has lifted from your heart. Marek has overcome the evil that controlled him for so long. My Pharaoh, thank you. You saved mankind. We did. I wouldn't have been victorious had it not been for all of you. Pharaoh, rest assured that everyone has was banished to the Shadow Realm by my dark side will return. Thank you. I have one more task to perform before my Tomb Keeper's mission is complete. Witness the secret of my Pharaoh power inscribed on my back. To the Pharaoh's power. These markings were passed down by my family for generations. For 5,000 years. We were taught that when the ancient pharaoh saved the world from destruction, he wiped his own memory clean. But he knew that someday he would return and he'd need his memory back. So he entrusted one family with the greatest secret, the key to unlocking his mind and his power. Now that you hold the free Egyptian god cards and the millennium puzzle, all you need to do is read the words on Marek's back. You're so close. Why didn't they put it on a tablet? It's like the Egyptian gods like surviving the tablet. Could have just written that down. This poor Ishizu Marek family, Ishtar family. I thought it inscribed on the back this entire time. It's time for us to leave, Pharaoh. So please, take this. The Millennium Rod. It belongs with you, but it won't cause any more harm. Thank you. And take this as well. The Millennium Ring. It's safest near you. With Yugi now possessing all the Millennium items, 
and the free Egyptian god cards. Where did he get the Millennium Scales from? <laughs> he can now make sure that the Shadow Games would never return. Sweet! And we got the Big Dragon of Bra. Nice! Smashed. Absolutely smashed Battle City. We defeated Egyptian god cards. We summoned Egyptian gods. We wrecked everything. We are the Battle City winners. We smashed Doors Kingdom. We smashed uh, Battle City. Guys, thank you all for joining me on this journey of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Doors Link Evolution Dual Monsters. Next time, we'll be doing the uh, Great Leviathan. What's his name? Waking the Dragon. Waking the Dragon. So we've got one, two, three, four, five duels in Waking the Dragon. And, of course, I think next week uh, will be the final, actually. So, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Tune in next time.